The nuclear fuel cycle um, starts with exploration. Once exploration has discovered a deposit that has enough uranium in it and is accessible or can be mined safely and economically, we go into the uranium mining phase where we develop a mine. Some mines are open pit, like the one behind me was. Others are underground mines where we use a shaft to go down to the deeper depths to retrieve that uranium. Okay, hand on you guys going down. Let's go. Yeah, it's about four minutes, is that right? Four minutes to get down? Yeah. My name is Ken Peterson. My title here is I'm a raised bore driller run a raised bore and we're up on the top extracting the ore. What we mine here is uranium. It's the highest grade of uranium in the world, so. You don't want to be handling it by hand. They're getting right in too close to it. We're at the 640 meter level. The ore's in between the levels, the 640 and the 530 level. It's in the middle, so what we do is we ream up to it and it ends up on the ground back here. This is how we extract our uranium. A raised board drill is up 100 meters above us, and we pile it down, and we hook up a 10-foot reamer, and that thing will, will pull that reamer up, and that'll make cuttings as it's going up. It's like a tunnel boring machine, but it goes vertical. They're in the process of reaming right now. You can see the cuttings coming out. The muck is what falls what we ream out is, uh, it, which is the uranium or the waste, depending where we are in the, in the rays. After the ore is reamed, he'll go in here by remote and pick up the ore. He's just bringing the scoop into place here. We, remote control, because you don't want to go under an open hole and have the risk of something falling on your head. And for uh, exposure, we don't want to go on deal firsthand with the high grade uranium. After the ore is reamed, he'll take it up to the scanner and scan it and see what numbers he gets. They range from zero to nine, and that's the, that's the grades of the uranium. Zero being waste rock, nine being the highest grade that we could find here. Nine hundred. That's the good stuff. It's very dense, very heavy, and worth a lot of money. If I had one bucket of this material, that would be worth 1.9 million bucks. When somebody turns on their light, this is the beginning of it all. The ore then is transported to a milling facility where the uranium is extracted from the barren rock. So. The ore comes with all other kinds of minerals and metals with it, and we want to get the uranium out of that. Well, my name is Albert. I work here at Pea Lake Mine. I'm a slurry driver. Slurry is, uh, is uranium in a liquid form. We, uh, we haul uh, nine, ten loads a day from MacArthur to Key to be milled in the Key Lake Mill. Ore receiving is the first stage in the milling process. We receive uranium slurry from MacArthur River on all trucks. Here's the truck, it comes in, we have a vacuum system here that draws it into the receivers. And from here it goes to our two receivers, which are drawn out from our vacuum pumps behind the cement walls there. From there, there's our slurry transfer pumps, there's four of them. And these pumps pump downstairs to the pachucas in our basement. We have four holding storage pachucas, and from there we have ore blending pumps, which we blend with rock from crushing and grinding, and then from there send it over to leaching. 
The milling process for uranium uses a variety of chemicals to extract it from the other metals that dissolve with it, to purify it, and then to dry it into a product that we can package and ship on to an enrichment facility and then ultimately into a fuel bundle for a reactor. I'm a metallurgist. Our job is to watch over all the chemical reactions and physical reactions within the mill. This here is our leaching circuit. The goal here is to remove the uranium from the ore slurry. Here we separate the solids from the liquids with the uranium remaining in the liquid portion. Our product is commonly known as yellow cake because uh, some of the facilities that make final product have an actual yellow powder that they produce. This is calcine, our final product, which is generally 98 to 99% pure uranium oxide. We uh, turn these into other intermediates that can then be used to produce fuel pellets for reactor bundles, which can then be used in our uh, nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactor cores are made up of close to 20 million of these tiny pellets. A single uranium pellet this size contains as much energy as 150 gallons of oil, one ton of coal, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas.